Good morning and welcome back to Margin. This morning I wanna jump into uh, credit cards, debt in the form of credit cards. So let's jump right into it. So credit cards are a topic that it seems like everyone comes out of the woodwork, uh, you know, expressing their expertise around uh, beating the system and uh, and figuring out ways to use points to, you know, fly around the world and and to uh, to use credit card ar arbitrage and and figure out how to um, to to really beat the system so the credit card industry hurts from having you as a customer, uh, but. At the end of the day, credit cards, whether you use them or not, uh, they are um, they are an industry that is heavily funded from a marketing and advertising standpoint, and and because of that, uh, so many people hold these cards and hold balances on these cards, and uh, and therefore, uh, unfortunately, we have seen. Um, some significant impacts on people's personal finances uh, due to the use of credit cards and not being able to get out of debt uh, from these cards. So the balance recently reported that uh, revolving debt set a record of about 1.1 trillion in February 2020. That was higher than the previous record of over 1 trillion set in 2008. So obviously not a good record uh, to surpass, uh, but that does show uh, the, the amount that credit cards are being utilized without the balances being paid off every month. So I remember when I got my first uh, credit card and there was some 0% introductory rate on my college campus and I uh, took advantage of getting my city card. And originally it uh, was a city, uh, city uh, MTV card and, uh, and you know, they've upgraded them over time. But, uh, but with that, uh, that just showed me the proof in the pudding of their advertising and marketing of getting on campuses and getting these cards into people's pockets early on so that uh, they can not only encourage people to use that for purchases uh, that in a lot of cases, my, my, my case included, um, you know, they couldn't afford. So therefore they kept uh, a revolving balance on that card. And then uh, over time, they just become a long-term customer. So it has been proven that we spend more when we use plastic versus cash. And so with that, I was reading through some articles related to uh, the studies behind that. And one in particular caught my attention and it was by an affiliate of LendingTree. And they stated in the article that research has shown that people are willing to spend more as much as 83% in some cases when paying with a credit card instead of cash. And so what we end up doing is we end up using our credit cards as a form of a bailout plan for ourselves. And oftentimes we don't look at it from the standpoint of, can I actually afford this? But we look at it from the standpoint of, of well, I don't have to pay it until later. And if I'm charged interest, it is what it is. But uh, we don't necessarily look at it from a standpoint of, is this in the best interest of my financial future? So Wallet Hub states that the average uh, percentage rate for a new card is 18% and those of established cards at 15%. So when you're looking at our prime rate being 3% higher than the federal funds rate, and that's hovering right around 0% right now, um, credit cards are make, you know, the credit card companies are making out like bandits on us uh, when we are operating in every other fashion in a low interest um, environment. So as I mentioned before, I'm in corporate finance and, uh, and I actually do have, you know, I have a credit card, I actually have two. And I maintain those um, those credit lines in order to maintain my credit uh, because of the fact that uh, there is oftentimes a vetting process uh, in corporate positions for finance and accounting because, you know, for obvious reasons, companies want to make sure that you are managing your finances well before they allow you to manage their finances. 
So my call to action today is to log into each of your credit card accounts that you may be a primary or a secondary on and look at it from the standpoint of how much debt are you in, uh, first and foremost. Second of all, what is the percentage uh, that each of those credit cards sit at? And then third of all, when was the last time you contacted that uh, credit card um, company to see if you can get a better rate? Uh, oftentimes people don't have because they don't ask. And so I would encourage you to call uh, your credit card or credit cards um, and, uh, you know, call those institutions, those are originated from and, uh, and see if you can get more favorable terms. Uh, I hope this information is helpful to you. And if it is, please do like subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're reminded to come back here on a daily basis to improve in managing your personal finances and building margin into your personal finances. Uh, thank you for your time. Enjoy your day and we'll see you back here tomorrow.